So welcome to another episode of Paul's Asian Adventure. In this one, I wanted to talk about how how hard it is to actually meet a good girl in the Philippines. Watch to the end. So guys, we're here at uh, Makdan Shrine again on a Saturday evening and it's people are starting to come out as you can tell. And what I wanted to talk about is actually um, how hard it is to meet a good girl here in the Philippines. Because there are many, it's easy to meet women here, but it's hard to meet someone that you can thrive with, with. And what I mean by that, there's a lot of girls here that actually, when you meet them, all they do is just sit on their phones while you're on a date. And then you might watch a movie and they'll be on their phones constantly and they have nothing to say. So to meet a girl that you can actually communicate with and that has some brains here at the top, it's actually kind of hard because there is, there is a communication barrier, especially with the girls who are uh, maybe less educated. Um, their English might not be very good and also their worldview and what they know about the world and what they don't know about the world and things to talk about. Remember, typically here in the Philippines, there is an age gap relationship, so it's just not about about the uh, um, about the knowledge is also about the different cultures in the in your age group so it can be very hard to meet someone who has a sense of humor that is aligned with yours and also uh, the interests that align with yours easy to meet someone and she just sits there watches a movie with you and you guys have a great time if you know what I mean right <laughs> by great time but but it's really hard to meet someone like that makes you laugh and you make them laugh and you really thrive together. Look how beautiful it is here, guys. I mean, look around. This is uh, Maktan Newtown. This is the shrine. And there, behind there, that's uh, actually, actually Maktan Newtown. So, beautiful area, especially on the weekends. You get a lot of people out here. And, um, yeah, so where was I? Yeah, the difficulty of meeting someone. What are some good places you can meet some uh, nice women? For example, like in Dumaguete, for example, you could, if, if, you, uh, if you're into educated girls, you could sign up for some classes at Silliman University or live close to Silliman. You can also, if you're dating, uh, date, you've got to date quite a few girls to meet the right type. So you're going to meet a lot of the wrong type of women here. You're going to meet girls, for example, that will ask you if they can come straight over to your place. Uh, that's an absolutely no, because then they've done it a thousand times to a thousand other guys. And uh, so there are different type of girls here and you have to be aware of that. And finding that one personality that fits yours, it's actually hard. People, we talk about how easy dating is here and typically it is easy. It is actually easy to date here. It is easy to meet a 25 year old, gorgeous 25 year old it is hard to meet someone that has that personality traits that makes you happy. Because remember, we're Westerners and we have a different culture. They're, they're from the Philippines. They have a different culture. So sometimes it's, it's a clash, you know. And, uh, and especially, like I was saying, their English is not good, their worldly views, they don't know anything. I mean, I've spoken to some Filipinos here who know nothing about their own history. They don't know history, they don't know the culture. Basically, all they know is TikTok, right? So, I'm, I mean, some of the girls you meet will be like that. Some will be very educated and some will have a knowledge. So, and then you've got to think about your own interests. Like if you like hiking, meeting a girl that wants to go hiking, meeting a girl that, you know, for example, likes to read. Um, so. You have to try to find that to be happy because if you just meet a girl and it's just based on the looks and uh, fun relationships, you know, you're setting yourself up for failure. And I think a lot of times we as guys, we're kind of short-sighted, to be honest. We're really short-sighted. We think, oh my God, these relationships are wonderful. I haven't had this much fun in, you know, 20, 30 years. And then once that fun starts to dissipate, meaning it becomes a normal thing, you know, the personality is what really comes out, you know, like, you miss this personality, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you can also meet girls in places like this. I mean, look at these girls, they're athletic, they're working out, they're playing, they're active, they're not on their phones. 
So going out and meeting girls is a much better, for me, I think, it, or for anybody, actually, I think it's a much better deal than trying to meet them online because I think a lot of online girls are meeting a lot of guys and they might be even a bit shaded and they might have an agenda more than girls you meet here. Many of the girls you meet here, I'm sure, they're probably not online. I wouldn't know, but uh, my friend Gio would probably know. <laughs> As an example, where we live in Newtown, there's call centers. Those girls are typically educated, their English is great, so, and they understand the Western culture since they're working with it all the time. Okay, so I'll continue now. <laughs> so they have a understanding of the Western culture. They might even be interested in American football or baseball or something that you're interested in. And, uh, so, also, like, for example, trying to hook up with someone who's a nurse, someone who's educated, especially if you have intentions of going back to the West. You want to bring someone who will bring something to your life, you know, uh, not just someone who kind of, uh, lack of other words, extract resources from you, from you continuously, but someone who will bring something, someone who will help you build up your your. Uh, relationship so so with that guys there are lots of opportunities here but you have to go through probably a lot of women before you find the right one again take it slow don't settle for the first one you meet no matter how good looking she is no matter how lucky you think you are take your time take your time because I've met quite a few girls here and uh, they've all been wonderful in their own way but not something I could imagine being with long term. And when I say long term, I mean like two years, five years, ten years. They're just there and they're fun to be with two, three months. And then the fun runs out and you're just bored because they say nothing. They do nothing. Yeah, they make you food. They clean the house, but they're not really uh, like they're not really getting your brain going. You're not having a conversation. You're not. You know, maybe having a discussion about something or even the same sense of humor. And that's really important that you find someone, for me anyway, it's very important that I find someone that can laugh with me, not at me, but with me. And uh, someone who can, uh, who's interested in learning, someone who's interested in developing themselves. It's not, not just stagnant, but they want to get better at what they do. As an example, I can give you an example. I dated this one girl. A wonderful girl but she didn't want to do anything with her life I gave her an opportunity to go to school and she declined she just wanted to be a housewife which is fine if that's what you want but but you know her English wasn't good we didn't we couldn't communicate on a way that we should have communicated so that relationship didn't work out because of those few things so again it's important to to find that girl that can give you all these traits and don't settle down for the first girl that you see. So like on, on my comments, I see a lot of guys talk about province girls and they are wonderful girls because they're very traditional and they might not have dated a lot. So their notch count, for a lack of other words, might be low. So that, that's great in that aspect. But there is a negative because they might, their English might not be good because they might not have the higher standard of education. They might not have internet where they live, so they're not watching YouTube. So again, their English hasn't improved that much. So the lack of communication it can be an issue. Now, there are province girls that comes, come to the city and you can meet them here and their English might have improved because they might be going to school. So guys, don't be fixated on the province girls. You know, maybe meet a province girl that's been here for six months, a year. She's trying to improve herself. She's trying to improve her English. And remember what I said. Taking it slow is, is, is what it's all about. Do not rush. Some of these girls will try to rush you. They'll try to pressure you into marriage, try to pressure you into uh, moving in and try to pressure you into girlfriend uh, status. I've had questions like guys that ask me, for example, how can I have a girl there as just as a uh, friends with benefits? You can, it's not an issue. You just have to be upfront and tell them, you know what? I'm not ready for a relationship. I want to take it slow. 
And that's, that's important because you really do want to take it slow because it is going to take time to meet that special one. Some people are very lucky and they meet that special one on the first date, you know, and they know it because maybe they're being through a lot of headaches and they know this girl is different. But again, I would say that's an exception to the rule. And I would say the other thing is if you're going to live here, I know you, some people like to chat with girls online and all that, but I would say if you're moving here anyway, forget it. Forget those girls. Come here. Meet the girls here. If you've chatted with some girls, don't put them on girlfriend status. Don't put them in engagement status or tell them you're going to get married them when you get here or nothing. Wait till you get here. Wait till you date around and make sure that she actually is the one because there are many good girls here. Uh, I've spoken like there are many bad ones, but... The majority are good, it's just that a lot of times there's a lot of incompatibilities and that's why things don't work out. It's not that they're a bad girl necessarily, it's just that the incompatibilities leads to not working out. I mean, how long can you sit beside a girl and her never saying anything when you, when you, you just get tired of it, right? So anyway, with that guys, thanks for watching to the end and uh, hope, hopefully you enjoyed the view here. and. Uh, this would be a great place if you're single to go and meet women. Um, they are very open to meeting uh, guys here. So you just go up and talk to them and in a soft manner. Don't be aggressive here. Just soft, like, how are you and so on. And they're open for it. So anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.